Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I don't know what happened on the last- Oh, it seems to me that we got the Celebi icon, and uh, yeah, Savali's here, and she got me this uh, cool PS2 controller, but it doesn't work, so I ate it. Yeah, but in all real honesty, this is just a gummy, a gummy, uh, gummy PS2 controller. And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't work with my Wii, so... Ooh. Well, so this is another episode where I just eat through the entire episode, right? Right, honey? No, you'll get fat. No? Yes, you will. Have you seen your tummy? Have you seen yours? <laughs> no. I have abs. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right? It's called abs, honey, not fat. <laughs> mm. But yeah, guys, we're all fat, so... I'm fat. She's fat. We're all fat. So. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you did. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. You're chocolate. <laughs> Gross. Well, guys, I'm here at Sharpedo Bluff. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be our base right now. I need to buy Reviver Seeds. Because the freaking last two episodes, uh, every single thing just took out, like, a Reviver Seed one by one. So, like, oh, you see a fortress. Oh, ate your Reviver Seed. Ha ha. What is this? A monster house? Took three of your Reviver Seeds. What's next? Oh, another monster house. Take another three of your Reviver Seeds. Oh, what's that? Spirit Tomb's a boss? Oh, took another, took another Reviver Seed. No, but, like, Spirit Tomb isn't supposed to be that hard, but when he uses Ominous Wind and gets the freaking boost and goes, like, double speed, then you know you're gonna lose a Reviver Seed. But anyways, yeah. Hey, what are you doing with the gummy? What are you doing? so hard? What do you mean? I just wiped through it. Oh my god. Wow. That was hard to keep. No, it's not. Look. Ah. Um. Just take small bites out of it. It was a small bite. What'd you do? Like a little nibble? You could use this to decorate your cake, but why'd you give it me? What's, what's that? It's the mold! And then I can put, like, chocolate and melt it. Oh, wow, you're cool. You're cool- Ow! <laughs> can I do that again? Mm -hmm. Can I hurt? No. Okay. 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 No. Can No. How about now? Just use a pillow! <laughs> ah! No. How about now? No, try again. <laughs> ah! Ah, that didn't hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Mm. Yeah, this is another episode where I just eat through stuff. Like this, uh, gummy PS2 controller. Hopefully I don't lose this footage since nobody's here to interrupt me. Except the phone. Except the phone. You're not here to interrupt, you're here to add. Add. Math. Add. I can't math. Calculus. Yeah. I don't like calculus, guys, by the way. <laughs> mm. It must be awkward to, like, just watch me eat while I can don't talk about this stuff that's happening right now. So basically, the time gear is, uh, yeah, you need, a uh, time gear to do the dimensional stream. Of which, when you use the dimensional screen, you will see something in the past or future, but since we're in the future, I don't think we can use it anyways, so yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Kimmy. Fine. Mm. <laughs> stripping. Stop stripping. You're the one that's taking my jacket away from me. No. Hey, oh yeah, what? What are you doing? Nothing. Look at that one. I can see you on the webcam thing. You're putting it on. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I yeah, I can. This is a webcam. Look, look at this. You see this thing right here? That's a webcam. It can see from behind. So you put on my jacket. Here, you can hold this. It's getting sticky. No, I'm good. Wh where do I what put it? The you know, oh, the mushroom's gonna get sticky. So cool. Yeah, she also gave me mushroom candy. So mushroom. Do -do 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 -do. 
I think I'm going to uh, level up. Here, put it in to the mold again. <laughs> oh man, I was pressing the wrong button. Oops, I was supposed to be pressing the A button. So yeah, I don't like flashbacks in this game. They're so unnecessary. I mean, even if you're not playing the story, well, maybe it is for just so you know. Just oh, I'm pressing A very fast, so I don't know what you're talking about. So yeah. What do you mean? I'm gonna record that later too. A time gear, it's here, I see. Oh, you know what? I can just turn that off right now. For those that saw that, yeah, that's my TV. <laughs> After identifying the locations of where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us to us to our world. However... Zap! Whoa! Not this flashback again! Not this flashback again! It's very scary! Who's on the bus? On the bus. Oh yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah. What? That's Meg's. Oh. Yeah. It came from the future, not the uh, par planet paralysis. So, John, you may not remember any of this, but you are my closest friend. Yo, man, you're a Grovile, I'm a Trico. <laughs> We're connected, see? You see, I was leading up to this. This is why when I first got Trico, I was so happy because, you know, freaking Trico. And the dude over here is a Grovile. He's supposed to be the bad guy, but he's really not, so it's all plot twisty and stuff. I mean, when I saw that Grovile was not the enemy, I was like, oh, plot twist. But, you know, all suspicion as a little kid. Since Dusknoir is like a more, like, evil and shadier kind of Pokemon. I thought that Dusknoir was the bad guy at first, not like Grovile being, because Grovile ain't a bad Pokemon. You see him in the Pokemon anime, Ash is Grovile, he'd be leaf blading stuff, bullet seeding your butt, he he does everything. Right, honey? You like, yes. You like Grovile? Yes. Are you sending messages? No! Hey, hey, yeah. Oh. Stop. Oh, you're sending messages. Oh, no. Yes, you are. Look, I didn't write anything. Yeah. No, it's good. Mrs. Teacher Lady said I did. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Oh, I see. Fine. Hey, look at you, all running off again while we're sleeping. Sorry. What are you doing? May be outside, get it? May be outside? Ow! It's funny, because that's not even your name. Not anymore. Uh-huh. Yeah, I am. Why? Is it? Is it really? Is it stopping? Hmm? I don't know. Mm, I don't think that's it. If you see her walking there, can you go get her? Yay! You're the best. Hey look, it's all the Pokemon. Or not the Pokemon, it's the sun. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. Yeah, it's better than, uh, you know, seeing darkness for the entire time. I mean, that's Nocturne's world right there. Nocturne's not over there at the moment, so yeah. Here she comes. What? Three? Hey, that'd be very strange if it just came early. I mean,. Rarely ever do buses actually come early. That never happened to me when I was in like elementary school or middle school. Always be at the same time. Yeah, you see those things known as phones? I didn't have that. We had like... What is it? We had uh... We had watches. Yeah, that's what it was. Are you doing like aerobic exercises back there? Yeah, you're doing aerobic exercises. Do jumping jacks. Then do jacks. What are you doing? I'm cute. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You're conceited. Yeah, you is. Yeah, you is. And say something. Say something conceited about yourself. See? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> see, you are conceited. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Uh, 
have a look at this. Okay, this. What could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. You should read this. Go, 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 go. Go, go. I can't read your voice. I don't know what, what to do. Here, just read it. Huh? Read? Yeah, you totally believe in me. Yeah, Hobby was always there to cheer me up, and... We fought a ground on together, don't you remember? You were scared, you were so scared. But you, you, but you know, since I was there, you were like, Oh, it's time to be brave, and you need to stand up to this, even though you can't stand because you're on four legs! <laughs> it gave you courage! With Javi, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Yeah, that's why I was keep going without giving up. Alright, I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, John has a special quality that makes others feel that way. Oh, I'm that good. The same way I care for John as a friend. You, Savali, also feel that way about... Yeah. Just a friend. <laughs> I'm not a friend. You see, I'll go to second base in the second part of this. Or no, by like the ending of this. By the ending of the story, of like the main storyline, I will be more than a friend to you. Alright, first we have to decide which time gear we should target. The underground, uh, underground lake seems to be the closest. How about Tree Shroud Forest? That was the first time gear that he got. Oh jeez, that's far away. Yeah, but, you know, let's go there, because since there's no one guarding it. But can I just get items before I die? No! Here we go. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. Oh my gosh, Tree Shroud Forest is actually pretty hard. Tree Shroud Forest has, like, a lot of cool Pokemon in it, but, like, it's at the same time, it's really hard. Oh my gosh. I just need to go back to this freaking thing and just, you know... I want more of this gummy. This blue raspberry gummy is just so good. Honey, what'd you do? Oh, got it! Ah. Alright, to Tree Shroud Forest! Where we might experience some failure! Okay. So guys, this is Tree Shroud Forest, home to many exotic Pokemon. Some Pokemon that I really, really like here is the Rouse family, of course. Oh my gosh. I hate this pants. This pants is like making me, you know, uncomfortable. Meh. Why don't you? You know what's weird, though? Uh, wh when I'm going through this level, my main character can never one-shot any opponents. Oh, not pedal dance! No, screw you! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, you better miss. There we go. But my partner can always one-shot the opponent, which really doesn't make any sense. I'm supposed to be the main character. She shouldn't be hogging all the spotlights, because that's what you do anyways, right? That's what you do anyways, right, Savali? Is that- oh, that's a Kadabra. I thought it was an Alpha Zam. Let let's take him out. Even though we can't recruit any Pokemon right at this moment, we can still go and attack them, right? Alright, there's a Cherim over there. Cherim used Growth. Of course, Cherim is uh, really scary. He used Takedown while he used Growth. That's the smartest thing you could have ever done. Anyways, I see the stairs over there. Alright, so Tree Shroud Forest is actually a really long dungeon, believe it or not. So, oh my gosh. Alright, let's get rid of that. Volley will take care of the Houndoom, because she's extra powerful, and I'm not for some reason. So yeah, oh my gosh, she, she could use any single move, any normal move, and it will just flat out decimate them. It's just, ah, oh, she's so powerful, why are you so powerful? I guess so, girls are tough. 
Yeah. Whoa! He used beat up. Okay. Here, take Savali instead. Yeah. What? There we go. But and then she's gonna one shot everything. Look at this. You're gonna one shot. Oh no, she used fight. Oh, she flinched it, and she used Iron Tail. Iron Tail isn't even affected, and she destroyed that Hound Doom. It's just meh. Was that roll call orb? I could probably. Oh, I can't use it anyways because you know. All right, so let's just keep on going through this vast magical forest. It has one of the coolest Pokemon. Kadabra is pretty cool. Routes is pretty cool. I like Houndoom a lot. Houndoom's a, a pretty uh, terrifying Pokemon, even though he's not that great in competitive play. Houndoom is Houndoom. He's a freaking dog with a skull that represents the guardian of death. I don't know. Okay, uh, an apple. That's a pure seed, so that will take me to the stairs. So, I think I'll just eat this black gummy since I really have no use for it. And my defense went up, so that's pretty good. Oh, man. What is that? Was that an M&M? Yeah. Did you, like, buy it just for the M&Ms? Yeah, it, it's M&Ms of obstacles. Why would you do that? Because it was cheaper. It was? <laughs> but it has less M&Ms, though, because it has more, like, variety. Oh, wow, finally. We finally got to get to some uh, secret stairs. This is called the Secret Bazaar. I don't know if I showed you this before, but what you can do here is you can, uh, you know, you can heal everything. You can heal everything with Mon Junior. Uh, she uh, heals your HP, BP, and uh, other stuff. Swallow out here, he get. Ow! Ow! Why would you do that? Oh! What did I do? You poked me in the back! Oh, I did. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> oh. Why would you do that? I dropped I the mic! You see, this is why I need a mic stand. I didn't know it was so cute. I was just watching No, you did that on purpose. No, <laughs> Ow! Oh my god. Yeah, this is going in the video. Ow. Ow. I'm sorry. Ow. Kiss me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I set you up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you yeah, that hurt! <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, so Lickalicky, what he does is, uh, he cleans up all your items if they're sticky, which is kind of, uh, you know, kind of suggestive. Also, Shedinja just sends you out of the dungeon if you're having a bad time here, so this is basically a great sanctuary. Not only that, but it, uh, sends you off the floor, which is really convenient, so, yeah, I, I really just want to get this dungeon up and done with, because this dungeon is, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty hard, because it has a lot of fire Pokemon, even though it's a forest, which is kind of weird. So, yeah, oh, oh, Houndoom. I don't know if Houndoom knows any fire moves. If he did, that'd be pretty hard, right? Uh, okay. I'll be done in 10 minutes anyways, since, like, you know, this these videos are usually 25 minutes to half an hour. So, yeah. I'll hit orb, that uh, raises your critical thing, I don't need that. I don't know, whenever I think of Houndoom, I think of Hitmontop, I don't know why. Do you know why, honey? Yeah. You know what Hitmontop is? Yeah, the guy that spins on his head, that's like a fighting type. Alright, so Savali got a critical hit by a Psybeam, and now she's running away from me, because she's afraid of everything. Because that's what she does, she just runs away from me. <laughs> Even when we're in the room together, she just walks out. She just walks out of my room sometimes randomly. She didn't do it now because you know she wants to be part of the video because she always likes doing that, stealing my spotlight like always. Cause you're the best. What is that? Oh, that's a blast seed. Wow. So could never use teleport and you know teleport. Teleport just teleports you away. I really like using teleport when I'm doing like you know these dungeons solo. Uh, for example, what I do is, uh, I'll go in as, like, a Kadabra or whatever that's, like, level 100, and then, uh, steal from the Kekli on market, and then teleport to see where I land, and it's just funny to see what happens. <gasps> she picked up Giga Drain! She picked up Giga Drain! She picked up Giga Drain! Savali, destroy it! Yeah! What? You destroyed the thing so that I could get Giga Drain. I don't know how much it, uh, how, how much power points it gives. So, the, the Giga Drain gives 10, so I think I'm gonna get rid of Pound, because, you know, Pound is getting a bit useless, I don't really use it as often, and, uh, since this is, like, one of those runs where, uh, 
No, you th no, miss every single pedal dance. Since this is one of these runs where uh, you, where I basically go in and not grind because you know I don't do that stuff. Uh, Giga Drain would be very good, and I become paralyzed. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, Cadaver just takes half damage because of Reflect. Reflect is a pretty good solo move, I think. I, I think it only goes for solo. But anyways, yeah, let's just Mega Drain everything back up and keep on going so that we can steal the time gear. Because we're that bad of people. I think that uh, Tree Shroud Forest has like 20 floors? 20? I don't know. I just remember that it was very long. It was either 20 or 15. Alright, so we've, we've gotten to the uh, to the deeper parts of this of this forest, so we're going to see Pokemon such as Ninetales. I really like Ninetales. Don't you like Ninetales, honey? Yes. You're only saying that because your cosplaying is Ari. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't you say you wanted to learn how to play my game? Yeah, you did. That's what you said. You said that to me multiple times. Oh, Shizu. This is not good. Alright, so, yeah, Psychic from Curlia does almost, well, it does more than half damage to my uh, Pokemon, so this is not good at all. Curlia is definitely a threat. Oh my gosh, Savali? You know what you just did? Okay, so you know how you have the ability to run away when you're playing Pokemon? Like, if your Pokemon gets hit too hard, then uh, they start to run away. You run into a Curlia, like you ran in front of me to shield me from a Psychic, but you get, you dodged the attack instead, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, so anyways, we run into a Vespiquen. Vespiquen is a pretty cool Pokemon, but apparently it's not that great at all as a Pokemon. So yeah, but I have a very, very large disadvantage against Vespiquen since, you know, I'm a grass type, she's a- Uses Heal Order! Okay! You can use heal order, it's okay. Just get out of here, you dumb bee thing. And quick attack even misses. And she uses heal order again! What is this? I'm wasting all of my PP on this thing. See look, she just randomly leaves the room, as you can see from the webcam over there. Yeah, she kinda just does that sometimes, so. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a good thing that's a Oh, she's still running away! What what gives, man? Alright, uh, let's see what, uh, Bullet Seed? No, Rock Slide. Wait, can anyone know Rock Slide? I I'm just wondering. I can learn Rock Slide, so... That would remove my major weakness to Buck, but it wouldn't help in the final battle anyway, so I think I'm just gonna leave Rock Slide over there. Oh, there's the, there's the Ninetales. You see, I came prepared, so I have Dig. And of course, Dig is great. Dick does a lot of damage, and towards the final boss, oh, this is going to hurt a lot. So yeah, as you can tell, uh, the final boss is going to be something that's, you know, uh, something that's weak to ground, and that's why I carry that. Good thing I have a lot of apples in handy, so I can just keep going. As you can see, this, this dungeon is really long. I'm a fan of these really long dungeons, but, like, I fear that on camera it's going to take a long time to do this, and I might have to do this in, like, two parts. But it's going around smoothly because, like, you know, I'm making it towards the end, towards the end of the dungeon already. Oh, you can take care of that, yeah, that Alakazam. We don't want him uh, spying on us. And we're almost there. That's a green gummy. That's for bug types, not for grass types, unfortunately. So let's just eat that gummy. My defense goes up as well. That's very good. Uh, found a warp seed. Don't need that. Okay, so. I don't see the stairs, honey. How long does it take you to find the stairs in this game? Because you're lucky. I'm not. Hmm? What are you going to do? Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 I'll go with you after this recording. What are you going to play? I don't know. Why? Isn't it cold out? Okay, fine. I'll go with you then. Ow. What are you doing? Ow! What are you doing? Picking bugs in my hair so you can eat them? You love me that much. Huh? Yeah, you just love me that much. Oh well. Hmm? Oh, that's fine. 
Wow, way to make things for like oh. mm. Yeah, I'm always special for you. Oh poopy face. No! Jeez, these dungeons actually have more floors than I thought. I don't have another pure orb, I'll just use the luminous orb to see where to go. It turns out I just need to go forward. Oh, Savali so picked up hidden power, which is a good move for special attackers, but unfortunately I don't have any special attackers, so BAM! I am there! Oh man. So time is still frozen. Like, what gives? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? So it takes two to actually get you to move. One is to freeze you. One is to unfreeze you. Sticky. Hmm? It's because of the gummy. Yeah. Look. 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 What the gummy's re been reduced to. It's just been reduced to half a controller. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I can with half a controller. Oh. Yeah, with half. As long as I press A, yeah, I can. I can pr use that one. Yes, I can. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I can rewire it. <laughs> There's like sharp parts of this thing, like right down here, and that makes it like awkward to eat. So I eat towards the middle instead. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? I wanna go play. play what? What are you gonna do? Play. What do you mean by play? Play. Hmm. So time has stopped. Everything's what? fixed in place. Time really has stopped. So he's just gonna take it anyways. Everyone's so shocked. And now... Hey, what are you doing? Time has already stopped here. It won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also, also something more worrying. More worrying? Forget it. Let's leave. Also, Savali, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before you go back to Sharpedo Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. Treasure Town? Yes, there's something I want you to find out. Learn anything that's happening in this world right now. Sure thing, I'll go find out everything you've done in the future. Therefore, since I found on my back, there might be an upper. I'll keep low and get some news. So you're going to wear, like, a hoodie and stuff and stand on two legs, right? <laughs> I'm back, I got some news. Not very good. After we went to the future, Yuxi and his friends put back the time gears in its original places, everyone has stopped. Has been happy because it was returned back to normal. But even worse, time is stopping in more and more places. Yep. We need to save the world! You hear that, honey? We're gonna save the world! Haha. <laughs> Yeah, if we don't hurry, then we're all going to uh, to get paralyzed. So, everybody was dumb and didn't prepare any cherry berries, so... Yeah. Alright, so we'll be searching for the hidden land. And I'm in charge, which is good. Alright, so that means we're going to search for the hidden land in order to get the Temporal Tower so that we can stop Primal Dialga and save the universe, right? Yay! Let's go to the hidden land. So where should, where should we begin looking? Um, Estar Omia, go across to the sea. And Jesus, this is a very long cutscene, honey. I'm glad I'm saving, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Now I can't move regardless. <laughs> You should do some jumping jacks. <laughs> oh. We have to do whatever it takes, because, you know, we're the best. Let's go to Wigglytuff's Guild. Yeah. Yeah, but we need to go back. We need to go tell them. They'll believe. 
I believe. Um, yum, yum. Your book? Honey, look, the gummy is designed on the back to make it look like uh, the PS2 background when you're loading it with all, like, the bubbles and stuff. Or was that a different one, or am I just imagining things? Yeah? It's just a coincidence that it's like that, though. It's really cool looking. Yeah, I just want to save the world, not listen to a cutscene. We're wasting time! Let's do it. Can I save now? Alright guys, so I think I'll be ending it off right about here. Thank you all for watching my uh, Let's Play of Pokemon Monster Dungeon Explorers of Sky in the next episode. We're going to be returning to Wiggly Sub Skill to tell everybody what's happened to us when we vanished into the future. Um, well, I will see you guys later, and uh, yeah, this is a gummy of a PS2 controller that I that I just ate right here. Now it's gone. Bye! Say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Ah! Oh, I'm gone. Oh, what are we gonna do?